paycheck is enough for anyone. Even when they increase your paycheck by a certain percentage, it is still not enough. You still want more. Most times, it is not the limited resources or the insufficient paycheck you receive that prevents you from making financial progress. It could be as a result of some bad money habits which you practice. That is why in this video, I will be taking you through 7 uncommon bad money habits keeping you from making financial progress and provide strategies on how you can overcome them to take control of your financial destiny. You are watching this video probably because you are not witnessing any positive changes in your finances or because you are stuck in this circle of financial struggle. Your finances are not increasing, you have no savings, you have no investment, your debt is mounting and you don't seem to understand why that is happening. Well, the truth is that you are not alone in this financial struggle. Recent statistics have shown that 77% of American households have at least one type of debt. 20% of Americans have no savings at all. The good news is you'll be two steps ahead of others in your finances after you finish watching this video. So stick to the end of this video to get the full detail. All right, let's get started. One of those wanking bad money habits keeping you stuck from making financial progress is delaying on things you should start doing now with your income. I will give you an example. Instead of you to develop a savings habit, even with your small salary, you give excuses that you are not earning enough for you to save, or you tell yourself that you will start saving once you start earning a bigger salary, or when you get a new job, or when you get an increase in your salary, then you will start saving. This is a delayed mindset. The side effect of this mindset is that you will keep willing yourself forever. That you will do this, you will do this, and at the end, you're not going to do anything. You're not going to have any savings or any investment or emergency fund or fund any new businesses or even increase your income. You must understand that the difference between a person who saves and the one who doesn't save is not tied to how much salary they receive. It is tied to their mindset. There are several middle-class workers who receive about $50,000 monthly as their paycheck, but they have nothing saved at the end of the year. Whereas there are workers who receive $1,000 monthly as their salary, but they have sufficient amount of money saved at the end of the year. Everything boils down to your mindset and how determined you are. No paycheck is enough for anyone. Even when they increase your paycheck by a certain percentage, it is still not enough. You still want more. Instead of making excuses of how you intend to start investing in an unknown future time, it's better you start saving now. Saving as little as $20 a day will accumulate to $600 a month. And in a year, you are down with $7,200 in your savings account. I know that isn't a huge sum of money, but it can go a long way in assisting you to settle emergencies, make investments, finance new businesses, and grow your income for a better financial future. This brings us to habit number two, which is paying yourself last. Once you become an adult, savings become a key element in preparing yourself for the future. Like the statistics we mentioned at the introduction of this video, 20% of Americans have no savings at all and 16% of Brits have nothing saved at all. This is as a result of people paying themselves last and paying others first when they get their paycheck. The slack in these savings is as a result of people not automating their savings directly from their paycheck. There are different ways of automating your savings. You can set up automatic transfers or standing order with your bank to immediately deduct that ideal 20% into your savings account once you receive your paycheck. You can use finance apps in your mobile phone to set reminders. You can also use calendars to set reminders. You can use your personal journal to set reminders to ensure that you're setting aside a particular percentage of your income monthly into your savings account. The ideal thing to do is once you receive your monthly paycheck, the first thing you need to do is to cut out 20% of that monthly salary straight into your savings account. This is to reduce your purchasing power so you weave your expenditure within the remaining amount of salary left for you to spend. 
In this way, you are paying yourself first and not paying others first. Also note that while it is ideal for you to set aside 20% of your income for your savings, it all boils down to what is convenient for you. You can go above this benchmark of 20% or you can go below this benchmark of 20%. What matters is that you are saving something. It is advisable that your savings percentage increases as your salary increases. This video will not be complete if I do not mention this next point I'm about to mention. And that is having just one income source. These habits keep you stuck in a cycle of living paycheck to paycheck. When you are stuck in a paycheck life, savings becomes impossible and you will not be able to settle emergencies as they occur. As someone who once had this bad money habit, I will also add that having just one income source brings about stress, it brings about anxiety due to fear of not doing enough and losing your job. It also brings about financial insecurity and sleepless nights. Every wealthy person you see out there is not dependent on a single source of income. Many of them have several businesses they invest in stock, they invest in shares, in bonds, in real estate and other assets that will bring about an increase in their wealth. In finance, there is what we call portfolio diversification. It simply means distributing your investment to several assets and not putting it in one particular asset. This is because you want to reduce the risk associated with investing in the stock market and also balance your reward. Applying this to the point at hand, it will mean not putting all your effort in just one one particular job. Expand your income sources. To experience financial freedom and meet up with your financial goals, it is important for you to expand your income sources by leveraging on your skills, on your interests and the market trends to fetch you additional sources of income. You can look into tutoring, babysitting, pet sitting, graphic designing, online coaching, copywriting or even YouTube and any other side jobs you find interesting as long as this will increase your income stream. Number four uncommon bad money habit is generalizing your goals. The next time you have a money goal or any other goal to achieve, do not generalize them. Be objective, be specific, be clear about your goal, how you want to achieve them and what you want to achieve. For example, do not just say, I want to pay off my credit card debt before the end of this year. That is a generalized goal and you will end up not achieving any of it. Instead, make a clear, specific and actionable financial goal that align with the financial future that you aim to achieve. An ideal specific debt repayment goal should be, I want to commit 20% of my monthly salary to pay off $10,000 of credit card debt within the next 12 months. The income percentage, the amount of debt you want to repay and the specific period of time within which you want to repay this debt makes this goal a specific, clear and timely goal. Breaking down your goals into smaller milestones or targets will help prevent procrastination and keep you focused in achieving that specific goal. Are you getting value from this video? Consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel to keep getting valuable videos like this that will improve your financial health. This channel is dedicated to assisting you develop good money habits, keep you financially fit and help you secure your financial future. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing. The next habit is lack of budget. Budget is very important in our day-to-day -day life. Without budgeting, you are more inclined to make an impulsive expenditure, accumulate debt and bills due to overspending, save little to nothing, lose track of how much you're spending, where your money is going and where it is not supposed to go, and fall into financial crisis. Ignoring budget while making expenditure is a bad money habit. Because we spend money on one thing or the other every day, you need to know how much you're spending on that thing and if that is the actual amount you're supposed to spend on that item. Budgeting helps you to cut down on those areas where you are overspending your money so as to save more from that particular expenditure heading. It also helps you to pay your bills on time, make investments, open up new businesses, experience progress towards your financial goals and it also helps you settle emergencies as they occur. The number six bad money habit is neglecting yourself. Many people do not invest in themselves. They invest in assets, they invest in stocks and shares in bonds, but they do not invest in their skills or upgrade their knowledge in their choosing profession. 
So there is need for you to upgrade yourself based on technological advancement in your chosen profession. Learn the latest upgrade in their area of expertise. When it comes to finance, you can invest in yourself by reading finance book, listening to finance podcasts, attending finance seminars, watching videos on finance like you're doing right now, listening to financial advices from big names in the finance world, and very importantly, subscribing to finance channels and finance newsletters. So consider subscribing to my channel. I will also be dropping a link to my finance newsletters in the description of this video. Investing in yourself will bring about an upgrade in your finances. It will help you make good investment decisions, develop good money habits, renegotiate your salary, advance your career, and take advantage of investment opportunities which will bring about financial independence and financial freedom. The number seven uncommon bad money habit is lifestyle crunch. This is a situation whereby you spend almost all your money in keeping up with an expensive lifestyle. You end up living a paycheck to paycheck life because you are in an unnecessary competition with your friends or your neighbors. Your friend got the latest gadget in town and you are on your way to also get that latest gadget in town. This unnecessary competition will, will bring about you not making investment, not saving for emergencies or your retirement and not taking up opportunities to expand your income sources because you are focused on the wrong things. Lifestyle crunch will lead to you falling into huge credit card debt and car loans with high interest rates to sustain your lifestyle and this unhealthy competition with those around you. To come out of financial stagnation, you must stop lifestyle crunch immediately. Stop competing with your friends and your neighbors and start competing with yourself based on how many of your financial goals you've achieved so far and how close are you to achieving the rest of your target. We evaluate your priorities so that you can make good use of your limited resources. I hope you got value from this video. If you're just watching my videos for the first time, I am Chinyere Ayikeme and in this channel, I take you through an excellent world of finance, business and self-development by helping you develop good money habits and secure your financial future. So if you're interested in securing your financial future, consider subscribing to this channel and giving this video a thumbs up. To my subscribers, I say thank you for always stopping by and sharing my videos. I made a video of how you can spot a fake rich person immediately. The link to that video is on your screen now and I will also be dropping it in the description below. Don't forget to share the video to your friends and families that will find it helpful. See you in the next video. Stay well.